And a very big shout out to the channel partner Helium Mobile for allowing me to do this for you guys. And for those interested in signing up for their $20 a month unlimited talk, text, and data plan, you definitely can try them out for a month free just using my promo code here. Just type that in. It'll get you your first month free. And with Helium Mobile, a little bit of a different experience with them as you can also earn crypto just by mapping out their services, which you could use towards getting a new device, paying your bill, or just cash in your pocket. Hey, how's it going everybody? So a much better quality on flashing a custom ROM onto your device. And I'm using my Pixel 6 that I've been saving this moment for. And we're gonna flash Evo X on this one too as well. Um, so what I'm doing right now for you guys to understand is um, basically downgraded from Android 15 beta back to um, Android 14. And uh, just making sure that I have the um, OEM unlocked, checked, and the USB debugging turned on. Hopefully you guys stay through the entire video and if you guys found this to be helpful, smash the like button. I really appreciate that. Um, if you want to drop a dono for the help, I appreciate that too as well. Um, but other than that, yeah. So like I said, just getting the prerequisites done, tapping build number several times to unlock developer options. And then developer options is where you will turn on OEM unlock and USB debugging. I'm going through the whole entire steps. so. My Pixel 6 is bootloader locked. I'm going to unlock it, show you guys how that step goes. But yeah, um, looks like everything is pretty much checked off and we're going to be set to go here. So on to the next step, which right now would be basically getting the bootloader unlocked. So um, with the um, tools that you would need, Android Studios installed, of a platform tools folder is where you would launch the um, command prompt or open shell uh, whichever your computer has and in there when you have the device connected by USB um, you would just type in the command ADB devices and I'll show you a serial number if a device is connected and if it is so from there once you establish you have ADB connection you're gonna type in ADB reboot bootloader and that should get your device rebooted once you have that rebooted um you literally at this point can just begin the process of unlocking the bootloader and so while i get that nicely set up here just making sure that everything is set up um you're going to type in fastboot devices to make sure that you are connected in fastboot mode once it's connected, then you're going to go ahead and type in the command, which I messed up the first time, but excuse the error. Uh, but once you confirm you are connected in Fastboot, you're going to type in Fastboot Flash or Flashing. Sorry, that's where I made my mistake. So you're going to type in Fastboot Flashing, not just the word flash, but flashing. And then unlock and hit enter. Um, so here I'll fix my mistake. We'll do fast boot, flashing. Make sure you include the ing at the end of the word, and then unlock. And that unlocks the bootloader. So once you do that, you should see on your display, um, it'll say here to do not unlock. Just choose unlock with the volume down button and press the power button to start the unlock. Now, once you do that, it's gonna wipe your phone again. So you're gonna have to go back to the very first step of just basically um, going into the full operating system, enabling developer options, and then turning on USB debugging again. But once you do that, you can go back in and make sure your device is still connected to the USB cable and type in ADB devices to make sure that it is firmly connected. And once you establish that ADB is connected, then you wanna reboot back into the bootloader so you'll type in a command adb reboot bootloader hit enter and your device should restart itself and uh, 
while it's restarting I'm gonna go ahead and copy the necessary files we're gonna flash into um, the pixel 6 so that's the boot image the uh, DTBO image and the vendor image so there's you know I have a folder with all my ROMs just set up so I just copy and paste it into platform tools folder we're just gonna do a quick check to make sure that um, our device is connected in fast boot mode so uh, once you do that um, and you see that wonderful serial number pop up we can move on to the next step the next step is flashing those image files uh, before flashing the cost the custom ROM file so uh, we'll start off in the order recommended we're gonna flash the boot image we're gonna flash the DTBO image and then we will flash the vendor underscore boot image so three image files you are going to flash onto your device as I'm flashing on my pixel 6 and you'll go in that order and when you type in the commands it's going to seem a bit repetitive so as you see right there uh fast boot flash boot and then boot image um the reason why you're typing in boot and then boot image is you're telling fast boot like where this image is going to be flashed onto so it has to have a destination but once you have that uh flashed in then you're going to go with the dtbo um so that again that's fast boot flash dtbo and then dtbo.image and I'll flash that in. Once you start seeing uh, those um, those uh, times of when it's doing the flash and when the command is, is ended, you can move on to the next step. If there's an error, backtrack and make sure your spelling is correct. But we'll do the next one, which is fast boot, flash, vendor underscore boot. And yes, you have to include the underscore as it's the location where the image file is going to be flashed onto. And then uh, so always check your spelling uh, once you're there then you're going to type in vendor underscore boot dot image which is the file that you're going to flash in place of the stock vendor boot image so we'll click that that is successful that's in like Flynn so from this point what you have done literally is set up the device to ADB sideload the custom ROM as you've put in a custom recovery so the files flashed in um, are the, pre the prerequisites to set that up. At this point, you're just going to boot into the recovery. So that's fast boot, reboot, recovery. And from there, your device should uh, restart and power back on. Of course, you'll see this warning image because your bootloader is unlocked. Uh, once that is um, done, it'll always be like that. So you have to bear with that. But at this point, really what we're going to do is go ahead and wipe the um, the uh, the device. We're going to do a factory, kind of like a factory reset and formatting data, so which is what you're really doing there. Um, and that's done inside the recovery. You use the volume rockers to navigate up and down. Use the power button as a select button. And yeah, that's what we'll do. So we'll factory uh, wipe and format data. And once we're done there, then um, you want to go ahead and reboot back into the recovery. You don't want to ADB sideload from here because it can cause issues. So just do a reboot into recovery. Once you are rebooted back into the, you know, the recovery, simply toggle apply update. So once you hit that and you select ADB sideload, just leave it here. We'll go back to our uh, open shell. And at this point, because we are in recovery, you're not going to use a fast boot command. You're going to use ADB. And so then you would basically just double check ADB devices again. Just I always double check to make sure my connections are good before I execute the command, which is ADB sideload and then the name of the ROM. And at this point, it's going to flash, which we skipped a lot of it. Once it's done, literally the recovery is going to ask you if you want to flash like another file. You don't need to. So you would just hit no. Also, we'll do that here in a second. And don't be alarmed because the flashing only goes up to 47%. It doesn't mean that half the ROM is installed on your device. It's installed on there. Um, so once it's done, it's done. Uh, you're not flashing anything else. Hit no. And there's a little message that tells you if you want to add additional, like if you want to add root, you want to flash Magisk, this is when you would do it. 
but I don't want my device rooted. I just wanted the custom ROM. So we'll reboot to system and you guys will get a look at the initial setup, well, startup of the Evo X Android 14 based custom ROM. So hopefully this tutorial just kind of walked you guys through and you guys had a better look um, than live streaming it where, you know, sometimes the live stream got glitchy or whatever. This is just straight through. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this video. And again, smash the like button because that really does help me out. Um, and in this case, because, you know, it is custom ROMing, uh, YouTube may be finicky about that. And so uh, a dono would be nice, you know, to uh, show appreciation that I was able to uh, help you guys out. But as for the rest of the video, it's literally just the operating system starting up. So thanks for checking out my video. I'll talk to you on the next one.